Hello guys, it's Andy, and um, I wanted to respond to two different responses today, and they're different, and you will see how. Um, so I got a question from a girl who lives in Texas who shall remain nameless by choice, but that's okay because I was a shy kid growing up. I'm still shy sometimes. Let's just get right into her question. So she emailed me. She wanted to know how do I cope in a dominantly meat-eating world slash society? Good question, right? Because I think a lot of vegans, when we come into this lifestyle, we want, we want to know. We want to know how, how do you wrap your mind. I think even meat-eaters themselves, the reason why it's hard for them to transition into this lifestyle is because they can't wrap their minds around what happens to the animals. They can't even watch it. So they can't even wrap their minds around um, around the issue, let alone watch it. So I think that says a lot. I think it's very, the violence is extremely powerful. And the truth is extremely powerful. And so how do you cope? I just want to answer it as a friend, as a person, you know, I have some experience or whatever. I'll just give you what I got and give you some of my techniques of how I cope and get through it. I think that there's this misconception that vegans are just staying up all night just watching animal slaughter videos like with a tissue box. I think people think we live a life of sorrow and that's another fear. That's a, another reason why people refrain from coming into this lifestyle because they don't want to live a sad life. Nobody, who wants to live a sad life? Who wants to live a life knowing, having that consciousness of animals being slaughtered all the time. But there's a reason though, but there's a reason, there's a reason why it's hard to cope in a dominantly meat-eating society. There is a reason. Commercial advertisements, slick commercial advertisements, the media, friends, family, even celebrities, milk mustache like you just look real stupid like every time I see a celebrity like with the milk mustache I just always think of them like sucking on the cow's nipple they want us to support their businesses and their egregious companies and those industries and things like that so that's what they want they want to make it as hard as possible so that people can go along with the status quo and act like everything's fine and dandy and you know hmm, climate change that's not we don't really care about that because you know bacon just tastes so delicious that climate change I can't even fathom that though like is it even real it's good to watch the animal slaughter videos to keep yourself updated I watch it as an investigator those are investigation videos for everyone to see because those are like, those are real cases, those are real deaths. I watch it sometimes, not all the time, because, you know, if I watch it too much, obviously I am going to go back and fall back into that depressive state. And not really depressed, like I'm not going to be sitting around crying all day long thinking about what I just saw, because I've seen so many to the point where it's almost like, I'm not saying that I've become numb to their suffering, I've just become so aware of what's going on that sometimes I don't even feel like I have to watch these videos, but a lot of the times these videos, like new investigation videos come up with new information and new practices against these animals and you just can't help but to watch because we need to know. There's this notion that vegans are like just martyrs and we're just like crying all day long and watching animal slaughter videos 24 7 and crying about the animals and thinking about what other people is doing and it's not like that at all because I don't live my life necessarily thinking about people I live my life thinking about animals so and that's a, and that's another thing that's another way to cope don't worry about what the people is doing what I have learned is just to let go you have to let go because people are going to do what they want anyway and it's still going to happen anyway and if I was to think otherwise I would literally be lying to myself and I would just be depressed all day long just thinking about oh my god why is Sally my neighbor eating back meat why are they drinking 
the milk of another species? Why are people eating eggs, aka hens, periods? So if it's only making it worse for you to watch these videos, then I would suggest you don't watch them until you're ready. I'm not saying don't watch them at all, but don't watch them until you're ready to watch them. So if you wanted to know how I cope, that's how I cope. I, I just I focus on me and I do my workouts and I listen to my music and I just I try to keep my health at like a really good place I really do try to just focus on my life and it's just weird because now that I'm focusing on me so much everyone thinks I'm conceited <laughs> and they think that I'm out to be perfect and wow you really care that much about yourself um yeah, I actually do. That's something that a lot of us need to wrap our minds around, is the fact that we can't control what other people do. It's going to happen, but that's on them. It's not like they're doing it and getting away with it, so that's also inspiring. So it's good to keep that in mind, too, because people think that they just could eat the products of animals and there will be absolutely no consequence for that. There's a cause and effect to everything. Everything? Everything every day adds up. If they want to do that to themselves, and then that's fine. I also feel like there's this um, there's this misconception going around that vegans just like to say no a lot. No, 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 no meat, no eggs, no dairy, no honey, no leather. No, 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 no. And that's all people hear us saying all the time is no. And why is that so scary? Why is that so bad? I don't understand. Why is that so scary? Why is it so bad to reject something, something that's unwanted? You know what I'm saying? Why is that bad? It's kind of like people get offended and then they become nutritional experts. Like, what? What do you mean? Like, I'm supposed to take advice from you. The reason why I transitioned into this lifestyle is because I didn't want to be like that. And so, and so that's my answer. I would just say focus on your own life do you let me just move on really quick to my next response from a l oh my god such a lovely email holy shit you're stupid you say you have to know what you're talking about and not to go around talking as if you do and then say some of the dumbest shit i've heard on youtube please 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 jump in front of a train or something i beg you quote I'm nobody to tell somebody what to, or not to do. Unquote. But you make an entire fucking video doing just that. Good job, retard. Good job. It's not that I hate you. It's just you are spreading your stupid ideas to more stupid people. You are spreading stupidity. Something this world certainly doesn't need more of. Just do the world a favor and never post another video. Please. Dot dot dot. Well, thank you, person. But, um, oh man, he told me not to do another video. And look at this. Aw, what an inconvenience. But, um, okay, so apparently I'm stupid because I'm spreading my stupid message to you guys, who, which he just called you stupid, too. So, this person is a meat eater, and basically he's calling other meat eaters stupid because I expect people who's already unaware to watch my videos. And those are the people who's really asking me these questions and coming to me with these questions. So, I just want to let you fellow meat eaters out there know that even... Other meat eaters think that you're stupid just for simply, simply listening to me. And when I say listening, I don't mean following. I don't mean going with everything that I say down to the T. I'm talking about they think that you're stupid for the fact this person, whoever wrote that, thinks that you are stupid simply because I make videos and you are watching them. It's just really beyond me the fact that me sitting here and telling people to not contribute to violence is just the craziest thing in the world. It's just the most craziest thing in the world. And it's, it's responses like that that makes the first response from the girl from Texas, it makes it hard for her because you have people like this in the world. And I think it was really good for me to come here and share both responses from 
both different perspectives because you can see why it's so hard and so difficult to get through this lifestyle because of people like this because we have people who are literally trying to hinder us from making any change at all in this direction and here's my thing to all the people who's not vegans who's watching this video do you really feel like you're stupid for watching me do you really feel like you're stupid for taking a listen I don't think that you're stupid I think that you're onto something much greater than you can imagine. I think that you're onto something much greater than you even know. And there is interest. Whenever there's hate, I feel like there is interest. I mean, I learned that just by being, you know, a, just growing up a feminine gay kid. I've learned that the people who hate you the most are the people who want to sleep with you the most. <laughs> the people who's like the most homophobic are the most homo. Like homophobes are always gay like homophobes are homos wherever there's like hostility like real hatred and you don't even know where it's coming from you're you're here you're trying to spread love and peace and suddenly people are coming at you attacking you like that and calling you stupid and saying that you need and even threatening me talking about i need to jump in front of a fucking train or something i beg you like even just that alone it just proves to me that you're extremely fearful of your own emerging transformation. I want you to literally take in what I just said. And this applies to any group of people that gets hated on when they're trying to spread peace and love. I just don't understand, like, the people who have the most hate to spread, they're the ones who's the most fearful of their own emerging transformations. And there's a reason for that. Like you're, because the truth, when the truth starts to come out, first of all, we're all socially conditioned, like from birth, most of us, I would say, most of us. We're all socially conditioned. And so to go from being so used to doing that and so used to having that to being questioned and being challenged on those beliefs and just even feeling threatened, like as if we're calling meat eaters evil people. I don't believe that meat eaters are evil. I actually think meat eaters, especially the ones who are so aggressive like this, I think they're so aggressive because they have really big hearts. And, and I know that sounds, I know that sounds crazy, but if you're trying to spread the truth, you will be faced with resistance. And there will be groups of people out there who will try to attack you and bring you down and try to make you feel like you're crazy. It's not It's not us. It's not the people who's eating the flesh of animals and eating the secretions of animals. It's not us. It's them. It's the vegans. They're the problem, right? Isn't vegans the problem? It's not. It's not the meat eaters. It's not the ones that's causing the least amount of harm to the planet. It's not, it's not us, it's them. It's the vegans, they're the problem. So, if we can like get rid of them, and if you can like off yourself and throw yourself in front of a train, that would be nice. So that's the mentality that I'm seeing. Telling me not to make videos. There's a reason why, he's, why this person is telling me not to ever post another video again. Because this person doesn't want the message to be out there. This person is fearful. I think that's one thing to keep in mind is the fact that anything that threatens a bad habit you will be faced with resistance and hostility and even hatred and so I just want everyone out there to cope with this lifestyle in a way where you're not so focused on what people are eating like don't focus so much on that because people are gonna eat it girl they're gonna eat it they're gonna eat it eat it eat it beat it but they're gonna eat it no matter what they're gonna eat those animals and there's gonna be nothing you can do as I'm talking I'm sure animals are dying right now and there's nothing I can do besides make a video and spread the message but that's just me which you can do I mean, if you're vegan, you're already doing enough. You've done enough just by going vegan. I mean, yeah, it does It does help a lot. It's very effective to not only just be vegan, but to spread the message. 
But just being vegan alone, like that's all that's all I could ever ask from anybody. Like that's all you need to do in order to be effective. Just be vegan, not contribute to the industries. That's all you need to do. So if you're if you're doing that, then you're already doing enough. So I'm pretty much done with this video. So if you have questions and if you have responses, please send it to me. If you have hatred and you want to throw it, throw it at me. If you want to be anonymous and private message me, that's also fine. Um, if you want me to shout you out, that's I can do that as well. But, you know, the more questions, the more videos, and the more videos, the more awareness. Say bye, Ali. Bye. <laughs> I love you. Say bye. She bye. She bye. She bye. <laughs> Say bye, Ali. Bye, Ali.